Now, correct me if I'm wrong. A story I remember you telling me is when you grew up in Vancouver as a kid, mm-hmm. you remember when they filmed Rambo First Blood in your neighborhood. That's right. Tell me what that was like, because that's an iconic movie, and that was just happening on the street. <laughs> Yeah, so they, were, they filmed it in different places around BC. The main, do you remember the town in that film? Hope. Yeah, so that's Hope, which is about an hour and a bit away. Um, that's where I got my first win as a, a coach ever was in the Hope <laughs> tournament. And fa- fast forward, just so you all know, when I was in Whistler and met Dave, I was the head coach of the secondary school there, which is the high school team. Didn't know what I was doing. Dave and I talked a lot about this, probably had eight guys on our team. And we went to the Hope Tournament. And I was like, guys, the reason we picked this tournament is because this is where Rambo took place. And we drove across <laughs> the Rambo Bridge. And my kids had no clue who he was. I was like, and, and we won our, my first, I think I won two games as a head coach ever at the varsity level. And one of those was in Hope. So that place has a near and dear place to my heart. Like, but that was like one location. Problem. Yeah, yeah. It's like but, the two most important things in your life, Rambo and, and, and Hoops. Canadian high school basketball, yeah. <laughs> but they filmed some of that in your neighborhood. So, yes, Hope was the main yeah, town. Yeah. Brian Dennehy, Sylvester Stallone. But what did they do in your neck of the woods? So there's, they're next to um, where I grew up. There's a big canyon, um, very, you know, wilderness area. And a lot of the you know i think that you remember the one where he did he jump off a cliff and he bounced all down to the trees into the bottom of that canyon it was all hurt and hanging in there lots of the scene the wilderness scenes were all filmed in there and i actually remember um i don't know if this is urban folklore or not i'll have to try and research this for you get a fact checker on it but um apparently they had like a um armory right with all the weapons and stuff and someone broke in and stole all of them (laughs) (laughs) and which at the time i thought was just the coolest i was like can you imagine like you know kids running around with like 8k47s and stuff but um yeah i don't actually know if that's true or if that was just a bunch of kids talking at school but like for the neighborhood like did you did you see sly walking around no unfortunately not i we knew it was happening but um it was yeah we didn't get to see him sadly 